bloody knocking on that door. Bloody relentless they are. I'll show you. I'll show you, relentless boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there guys and welcome back to yet another one with us, The Review Bros. My name's Aaron. My name's Craig. And we are seriously excited to have you back with us for another review in the form of... Today, Relentless by Obsessed Nutrition, mega stacked one. These are the guys that brought you Donald Pump and some other products that we will yet review. But yeah guys, really excited to get into this. The taste, the price, the label, the effects, sum it off with our final verdict. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, tick that bell icon, do give the video a like if you like it, drop down below your thoughts on this product, and please do consider joining our membership scheme where you can get samples. Really appreciate that, guys. Thank you. We are moving into the taste and the mixability segment of this product. So it comes in two different flavors. It comes in blueberry lemonade. And the one we've got is cherry cotton candy. Probably would have chosen this one, Obviously, I've used it once before. Craig's not yet. However, that being said, going to pretend it is our first time. Yeah, and it's two massive scoops to get the serving size, and it's 37 grams. Yeah, massive scoops, guys. Look at that. This is insane. I reckon it's two heaping scoops as well. Because, uh, yeah, what would that make each scoop if the total's 37? Like, fucking 18? 18. 18 and 18 and a half. They've got to be peep scoops, then, I'm telling you that. That is now. crazy stuff, guys. Almost getting a meal out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Could go one and two. Very, ones. very cotton candy smell. Mm. Very much like it, isn't it? Blood Rush by Centurion yeah. Labs, their pump formula cotton candy or whatever it was. I feel like I'm at a carnival. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, my lid's not on. Oh shit. Let's do it. <laughs> Pop action. Oh yeah, that cherry's definitely there, isn't it? Well, that's a differentiator. That's very tart, isn't it? Mm. Sourish. It's a slag. <laughs> <laughs> that is very um, yeah. potent. Yeah. Probably needs, in, in actual truth, probably should have put a bit more water in, considering it's 37 grams. Mm. So we had here 300 milliliters. So probably yeah. do like 400, 450 even. Yeah. Because it's a lot of um, a lot of powder, let's be honest. Definitely. Yeah, it's definitely really substantial tasting. It's not um, got a chalky consistency as such or thickness to it, really, considering the size of the gram. It does have that very sour cherry taste to it, though, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. And like a candy-esque aftertaste, like a... Like the cotton candy yeah. aftertaste. It's a bit, a bit weird. But then mm. cotton candy is a bit weird, isn't it? Mm. I'd Hot say it's accurate to what it is supposed to be. Definitely. Mm. Really unique. Can't say I've had one like this. It is tart though. How's it mixed? Oh, there are some little bits at the bottom. Again, that's probably because of how much there is and yeah. that, you know. But really not that bad. I'm talking minuscule particles. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, that's tough. That's hard. I do think it's above average. I do, yeah, I definitely do. Five being average out of ten. Should we count to three? It's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, it's gonna be very tough. Yeah. <laughs> three, two, one, Eight seven point five. Oh, oh that was close. we are around the same region. I'm happy to go up because I think that a bit more water it probably would have yeah. pushed it to an eight. I yeah. think that's a fair guys. Tell me if I'm wrong. I think that's a fair assessment. Yeah. If you want me more detail in your taste segment, just let us know in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Should we make it last a bit longer? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs> it's price time, and you're going to be going to obsessed-nutrition.com to pick up this 20 serving tub for 46.80, which works out to be two dollars. 
34 ago <laughs> and we have a discount code to achieve that price of rb10 guys yeah use that code guys i think that works for everything on their site so they do have some other products if you're interested in that now uk guys for the translation for the sake of this review are coming at 35 pounds and 39 pence or a pound and 77 per the go now yes you'd be right that is more expensive than your average product that being said, it is a premium product. Wait till you see that label section. And what I would also strongly argue, instead of getting 20 servings at the two scoops, I would argue perhaps you could even get away with doing 1.5 scoops and get 30 servings. But again, wait for the label and the effects section to see why. But for the sake of this review, it scores on that consistent scale, a 3.5 out of 10. But yeah. again, Sometimes you get what you pay for. So let's see, what, what are you paying for? Discretion is advised with serving size. Let's do it, Aaron. Label time, guys. Let's roll through this as quickly as we can. Let you know exactly what you're purchasing with your hard-earned cash. So full dose, 20 servings, 37 grand pre-workout. Jesus Christ. First up, L-citrulline at 10 grams. Massive dose of pure L-citrulline, guys. Your nitrate oxide levels are going to be burned through the roof for those nasty pumps. Guys, that is a massive dose. We've not seen higher, I will add. <laughs> then we move into betaine and hydrus at five grams. Again, double the norm, guys. We normally see that at two and a half. Jack of all trade and ingredients for endurance, for pumps, for, you know, athletic performance. It's the king of all, really. Yeah, and then we've got beta aniline at five grams to go. <laughs> Crazy, guys. 3.2 grams is the normal amount, the clinical amount at that, responsible for that itchy, tingly feeling you get when the pre-workout kicks in, and thus boosts endurance down the line by lactic acid buffering. Nice, then we've got L-taurine at two grams. Oh, guys, hydration, pumps, again, a bit of everything, even a bit of mental clarity from that ingredient, it really is one of the all-round amino acids, two grams hefty, double the norm. Yep, and then we've got L-tyrosine at two grams again. Again, double the norm, guys. Normally see that about a gram, another amino acid. This one, responsible for the mental clarity and cognition to get you in the zone for your training, effectively. Boom, and then we've got DMAE bitartrate, 800 milligrams. Again, a respectable dose, guys. Obviously, this is responsible for the nootropic side of things, similar to the L-tyrosine, so it's going to work with that to keep you in the zone, help you with your cognition and your concentration levels. So good, good ingredient. Lovely. Then we've got Alpha GPC, 50%, 800 milligrams. Crazy. It's non-stop, guys. Again, co-line type for your concentration and nootropic benefits. Going to be in the zone on this one, I think. Yeah, focus going to be on point. Then we've got N Extra, trademarked ingredient, 600 milligrams. Guys, this is massive dose. It's been very much likened to caffeine's best friend. In that it won't raise your heart level, it won't raise your blood pressure, but it will amplify and raise the levels of caffeine. And what I mean by that is the effect of caffeine and it will help prolong it for the anti-crash mechanism as well. Mm. Guys, that's that's serious stuff. Is caf if caffeine is the bicycle, N extra is the stabilizers that helps it helps it along. There you go. <laughs> then we've got <laughs> caffeine and hydrus, 400 milligrams. Very nice amount, guys. Obviously a couple of energy drinks worth there at least. We're talking four cups worth of coffee. We're talking serious stimulation. That's a hefty dose. Not for a beginner. No, no way. So our favourite dose around that, isn't it? 400. Then we've got Fiobromine HCL edition, 200 milligrams. Again, a hefty dose, guys. Obviously from the chocolate, it's the thing dogs can't digest. It helps you with a little bit of stimulation and mood benefits. So it's going to keep you happy. Nice. And then we've got Mephiliberine, which is the painted dynamine trademark ingredient, 100 milligrams. Which is structurally similar to caffeine but it's a faster acting version. If it was a caffeine citrate, then it would be very similar because it's a it, it's a quick hit of energy and is not la as long lasting as its cousin tear cream. So it is a very, you know, it's a stimulant guys that's gonna hit you fast and hard. Nice, so they're all gonna pair together to increase energy and focus levels. There's no digestion, though. that is one downside we did notice. Astrogen would have been very nice here with the amount we're looking to absorb. Is that gonna hold it back? But honestly guys, clinically dosed and beyond. Definitely. Powerful. <laughs> Effects time. The bit, look guys, the bit you've been waiting for, how does this truly work? 
in real life. In the gym, take the label, we throw that aside. Let's start at the beginning. How did we feel it? Like we always do, that beta aniline dose, five grams, way over clinical, 11 out of 10 on beta scale. You're itching your absolute eyeballs out and there's yeah. no niacin in there. So you don't get the flushing feeling, we're talking pure itchiness. Even no digestive aid to help that yeah. beta aniline to five grams. Again, this is where we say you probably could get a scoop and a half. You're hitting the clinical dosages because this is well, almost overkill on yeah, two scoops, to 100%. be honest with you. And that being said, when I say overkill, what I mean by that is you do have a slight issue with digestion. Yeah. Like a mild. nausea sort of feel where it's just so much. It's 37 grams, guys. Very in fact, mild, though. Yeah, mild, mild. But in fact, I think this is the second biggest serving size we've had today. Yeah, I would argue definitely. I think, what are some of, some of the others? K, pre caged was around Nutribio. 34, and Nutribio was 43 grams from the top of my head. Binox, you know, these big, heavy hitting, like real bodybuilder style ones. And I think the dosages in here, the two scoops, is probably for these big 250 pound fucking bodybuilder bastards. <laughs> yeah. the, the big dosages. But if you're your average gym goer, like, you know, who's like 12, 13 stone, ain't gonna need all that. No, so. I'd even say a scoop. If you look, go back to the label, guys, I'd genuinely say a scoop all right. And actually, I tried it on a scoop and a half, mm. and I thought it was really, really good. Now, I'll, I'll say what score that is towards the end yeah. of this. Now, what comes in next is a nice surge of energy, and it's yeah. definitely not its not a stim junky energy. It's clean. It's clean, and I'd say it was still strong, strong daily driver. Yeah, maxed out daily driver. And I think that's because they're hitting various different stimulants that hit at different times and synergize together. You yeah. T is it uh, dynamine, dynamine, the methylipirine, obviously, is that fault. Yeah, and, and, and extra and caffeine, so they're all like... Whew. You do get nice energy from this one, guys. Mm. Focus, let's talk about the focus. Again, we've got some serious doses of some focus ingredients in there. Mind to muscle connection is very, very good, guys. Nasty. Nine out of ten focus, probably, at least, really. It's, it's really, really good. The pumps and focus kind of synergize together to create that ultimate bodybuilding style training session. And you've actually just mentioned the word of the third element we look for in a pre-workout. Those pumps, those mm. juicy pumps. That, for me, was the standout of definitely, this product. Definitely. Pumps were savagely nasty because of those focus ingredients. You really connect with the muscle in movement, and in that it drives all those nutrients in with the hefty betaine anhydrous and citrulline content in this product. Pumps are like 10 out of 10. Definitely. It does take a while to digest. Maybe give it a tad longer than you typically would. Give it a good 30, 40 minutes. But once you've digested all of that, that citrulline smacks straight into the into the body. And, you know, you really do feel like you use all of yeah. it, despite the lack of the digestion. Maybe. Really, really good. So I would genuinely say it goes along the lines of this. So I'd give the energy a 7.5, pushing on an 8 out of 10. Yeah. I would say the focus was like a 9 out of 10. And I'd say the pumps were like a 10 out of 10. Mm, so with, and the mood elevation, it's relatively there. Yeah, the it's pumps more focusy rather than yeah. that. Really. It's just like neutral on the, in the zone kind of feeling. It's one of those ones again where the pumps are so nasty and nice that you just feel happy yeah. because of that. And you feel like you're getting a really good training session, productive, healthy. Yeah. I would say this is an ultimate bodybuilder's pre. Powerlifters and strongmen, I'd stay away because obviously pumps can be detrimental to that style of training. If you hate beta, then obviously stay away. Yeah. So honestly, what would I give this product out of 10? Oh, I'm talking a strong nine. Very strong nine, as well as the fact there's no negative other than that very mild, very short-lived nausea feeling. Like I said, don't let that put you off, guy, because that is really... That's very like, minor. Very, hardly noticeable, really, but enough to mention. I think what would have pushed it to a nine and a half, maybe even a 10, would probably be a digestive aid. Some black pepper and some astrogen, that would be very much welcomed. Yeah. 100%. There's a lot in here, guys. It's for the more productive bodybuilders, the big guys. This is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A productive gaining sort of pre-workout. Yeah. Not a burn all your for, body fat off. For, the, for the elite. Yeah. That's what I'm a looking for. A serious elite style trainer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I say get these games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, honestly, 
I've got no complaints. And I what think we it's have a solid said, nine. You did touch on this earlier. Um, one and a half scoops. We're saying oh, sort yeah. of around eight and a half. Eight and a half. It's vaguely less good. I mean, not enough to knock it down a whole point. You know, that's why we've said we would probably, if we was to buy this, we'd use one and a half yeah. scoops and get a month's worth. Hundred percent. Knock that price way up. Probably. Mm. To, I haven't actually done the math. Four probably like five. a six or a seven oh, even. You reckon? I reckon. Shit. I reckon <laughs> because you'd be getting thirty serves for the thirty-five. The $46, oh, so a yeah, little yeah. bit more, but you get what I'm saying, guys. It's quite easy math should you want to do it, but that's how we'd probably do it. Yeah. A scoop and a half, because you're going way above clinical steel. So yeah, I wouldn't say it's for beginners, simply because it is just it's just overkill for beginners. Intermediate slash serious trainers, yes. Stim junkies, prob well, no, effectively. Yeah. Not really. Strong daily. Yeah. A very strong daily for those that care about serious, productive gains. Oh, yeah. Nine out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Final verdict on Relentless by Obsessed Nutrition, the mega hefty tub. What do we give it in the chronological scores ordering? Starting off with the taste and the mixability. Off the flavour we had the cherry cotton candy. We rounded up to an eight out of ten. It actually tasted really unique, extremely tart, soury, kind of potent taste. So should, nice. Yeah, so should you want that, very good. Recommend mm -hmm. a bit more water. Obviously, we are looking at a lot of ingredients in there. Mixability was actually still respectable considering mm. that that volume of powder that goes into that water, guys. Price of the product at the full two scoops, which we argue perhaps is overkill for a lot of us out yeah. there. What did we give it? It came to a 3.5 out of 10 on our price scale using that full two scoops, but we did say that if you was to do what we recommend, 1.5 scoops, we're looking at more of a 5, 6 out of 10 price score, which is way more reasonable for your average Joe. Do use that discount code, guys. Mm. And most important part, and subsequently, its highest scoring element, the effects. We gave a 9 out of 10, you know, pushing on to that 9.5, really, if we're absolutely honest. But 9 out of 10, we did decide overall. Excellent top-end daily driver, serious pre-workout. Yeah, really, really solid stuff, guys. Revert back to that effects section to see if this is right for you. And we want to thank you for watching along. We really do appreciate it. Drop your comments in. Should you have tried this? Obviously, there are other obsessed nutrition products that we look to review in the near future. Donald Pump. <laughs> Absolutely. Very excited to give that one a try. Let us know what you want to see us get reviewed. And please, if you have not already, then please do drop us a comment for the algorithms. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for this and so many more, guys. Six month backlog is coming at you. So three reviews prepared. a week. And many more stuffs like that. <laughs> nice one. Cheers, guys. I really appreciate it. All the best, guys. Take care and stay stimmed. And gaining on that.